when you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players, and you want to be coached by elite. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment. When we have nothing else, we have family. It's the first thing we remember. It's where our stories begin. Family teaches us the essentials, how to throw a perfect spiral, and how to make a perfect rule. Family is the constant amidst chaos. It's our shelter in the storm and our hope in the aftermath. It's why we are who we are and why we do what we do. Some of us are born into it. Some of us discover it after years of searching. But no matter how you find your family, once it's yours, it's yours forever. Hello Tiger fans, I'm Emily Dixon and you are watching Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee. Plenty of Tiger fans headed out west in week one, but we were back in Tiger Stadium on Saturday night for the home opener versus McNeese. And for the first time since the 2019 season, there's no capacity limits for fans, so we'll be filling up Death Valley in 2021. In this week's episode, we go behind the scenes prepping Tiger Stadium for this weekend's game. We head into the film room with an offensive lineman and have all the highlights and post game reactions from game two. This is Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee. Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coke. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. Tailgating at LSU is hailed as one of, if not the best game day experiences in all of college football. And after a year without tailgating in 2020, the purple and gold faithful are back in full force. And another unique thing LSU is known for is Death Valley's classic field, H-style goalposts, the wind bar, and of course, the eye of the tiger on the 50 yard line. Here's a look at how everything comes together before kickoff. 
My name is Ben Wilson. I'm the assistant sports director manager here. So right now we're about 10 that help out, uh, including students and five, six full-time guys. Uh, this time when we're getting ready for our first home game, um, we'll, we'll begin prep. Really once the spring game's over, um, we'll do cultural things to it, we'll airify it, we'll uh, just uh, you know, keep it fertilized, keep it mowed, keep it tight. Um, we'll do a bunch of cultural practices to it. And then once we get into August, really trying to fine tune it, get it ready for that first game, um, push it, make sure that when we do uh, add we fertilize it that it's popping at the right time and everything's fine-tuned for going into that game week and then once you get into the game week uh, our paint process begins on Tuesday uh, that's when we mix all our paint and mix it by hand so we get our paint from world class and uh, a lot of people will get uh, pre-mixed paint we don't do that we like our own ratio here we're one of the last remaining uh, teams in the United States in FBS to paint uh, full end zones um, not many people do that anymore, and also we don't, we're only ones, I believe, that still paint every five yards. So when I know that we've done a good job is when no one gets hurt. You watch football games, and um, a player will, will push, you know, he'll get pushed, and then or he'll make a cut, and sometimes the turf gives out. Um, that's not necessarily always the groundskeeper's fault, but our job is to make sure that this thing is firm enough, tight enough, with good structure, good plant structure, that when a player pushes or makes a cut, that it's not going to give. He's going to make that easily without the field interfering with an injury. They ask you if you have real grass or artificial. That's the best comment you can get because that means that there are no flaws. You know, when you have artificial turf, it's all pre-made and it's it's very nice. But when somebody tells you that real grass looks like that, that's the best compliment anybody can give you for sure. To be honest with you, I love the setup. I love setting up the field for play. We put so much work into it, you know, and then my favorite part of the job is when fans come into the stadium and they see that field and it's like, wow, this is beautiful. Or this is, you know, it means something. It, it means it meant something to me when I was a kid going walking to the stadium and you'd be like, this place is awesome. You know, you can see the field, the field's perfect. You don't have that, you know, most kids don't have to play on fields like that. Um, and as, as a fan perspective, I know I really appreciate it when I was growing up, and I'd say that to be able to give that to somebody else means that's what I do it for, you know. Um, I do it for the fans, do it for the players, obviously first, but the fans too. And um, I love the preparation of the job, I really do. And then once the game starts, that's when I sit back, I relax, and just enjoy it, you know. So I do enjoy the preparation, for sure. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, right. Whenever you know, packing the cooler really, really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. Mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. The difference is putting in the extra work to get better. The difference is spending the extra hours to get it right. The difference is fighting for the extra yard to get the win. At Delta DeBosia, we're proud of all the student athletes who get that extra something that makes them tigers. If you've been injured, we're ready to go the extra yard for you. That's the Dudley DeBosier difference. Demand Dudley DeBosier, official partner of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. 
with an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike. When it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. Offensive lineman Austin Deculus is in his fifth year with the Tigers and played in his 50th collegiate game to open up the 2021 football season. We head into the film room with the veteran as he breaks down his favorite plays of his career with former Tiger great Jacob Hester. Yo LSU fans and welcome back inside the LSU film room brought to you by Community Coffee. For this film session, we bring in the big guys. We bring in Austin Deculus, senior offensive tackle. Are you ready to dive in? Yes, sir. And we're going to LSU Florida 2019. This is a play really that nobody talks about in that game. Of course, you talk about the two-man route combination yeah. that Jamar and Clyde had to kind of put the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. But this was a big moment in this game right here so like so right now is just more of a more of a mid zone type play uh right now i was supposed to be checking in because i was looking at that d lineman that was like coming over late right because i was supposed to possibly be in a combo block with uh d lou but then last second i like that's whenever i looked up and i took gave a little last shove got a little bit on him and that's when ty made a good cut like he always does and just Went to, went to the touchdown, went to the end zone, so. So as a running back, this is exactly what you want to see. Yeah. You got Thaddeus with his head in the inside. Yep. You got your head and hat on the outside there. Right. D-Lou's manning up, a guy that comes over late. And it look, the defense didn't line up right, mm -hmm. but you have to adjust to that, right? That's what helps with that, like, more of, like, because we started, this is when we really started doing more of that, you know, that faster, faster get to the ball, right. get set type tempo to where, and we still, you know, that's the best part of the offense because you're not having like the defense trying to play. It, it's not giving them time to think like a checkers match. Right. Know? Pretty good. Look, as we slow-mo this, it's a really nice job of you because you feel the defender pulling away. And instead of holding on a second too long, yeah, you okay. know, okay, all right, he's found <laughs> the ball. I've got to let go because look, the running back's already past you. So the last exactly. thing you want to do I've had my is, get, there, is get called for holding, yeah, right? I mean, bad. you want to make sure, okay, the defender's pulling away. I feel Ty Davis Price running by me. Let go right there, no penalty. Three hits his head on the goalpost. Yep. <laughs> Same year, 2019. All right, this is a play that LSU used a ton. Y'all used this play a yep. lot in 2019. Oh, it was yeah. very valuable, empty formation, no back in the backfield. Kind of walk us through your mindset, knowing that the quarterback's running right behind you. So right now it's more like that, like you said, more empty to where it's also giving him that QB draw type of, uh, type of chance. And then I could, Right here, I could be a little bit like tighter to where I could just sit down on the bull with my hands, uh, let them in my chest a little bit too much. But to where I wanted to sit tight to where I would just give him one option. It's just right. kind of, he wouldn't beat me up the field, he wouldn't beat me inside. I'll just try to like more of just like take him up and just get in the way to where Joe can make that cut and then he's off to the races. Yeah, this one looks like it's one of those 1970s or those old well, film I mean, clips. There's or a something. chance you were playing in that one too, but probably. Uh, talk us through what it was like playing because watching it on TV, watching it here on film, was it that difficult to see in that game in the stadium on field level? Uh, to be honest with you, I would say seeing the defense alignment. No, I wouldn't say right. that because you know they're all, they're maybe five, less than five feet away from right. Me. But when it comes to like being at tackle and you gotta see like, if I was like being at tackle, if I see like a far corner, or like a safety deep, I really gotta like, it's like like a scary movie type thing to where you just see someone just pop out of nowhere in the, in the midst. Right. To where like you wouldn't be able to see them if they're too far. And all, all props to, to Cade actually, cause he made that basically blind, that kick basically blindfolded. All right, it's going to do it for this film session. Don't worry, we've got plenty more film sessions coming your way throughout the season. Thanks to Community Coffee for bringing you this one. Deck, we appreciate it, my man. I appreciate you having me. Yes, sir. All right, we'll be back. Go Tigers. Coming up after the break, it was officially Saturday night in Death Valley, and we have all the highlights from the Tigers vs. Cowboys, plus post-game reactions from Coach O and the team.
You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach you the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. OK, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever wait, packing wait, the cooler wait, really, wait, really wait, matters, wait, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed. Our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. Make your summer last during the Ford Labor Day sales event. Now is still a great time to buy a Ford. Choose from our F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 44 years, and from the freshest lineup of SUVs in America. It's the Ford Labor Day sales event. Drive one, buy one today. Just announced, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 F-150. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to LSUshop.net. Head coach Ed Ogeron and the Tigers try to put last week in the rearview mirror and look to the here and now. Plenty of work this week to correct deficiencies on both sides of the ball. And frankly, it doesn't really matter who the Tigers face tonight. It's all about LSU. Here's the toss coming to Goodwin. Stiff arms a man near midfield. Gets in the Cowboy territory inside the 40. Long snap count. Johnson claps, gets the football. Slings it towards the end zone. Palmer has it. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers. Ogeron again, empty backfield. Going to be brought down. Mason Smith with his first career sack for the Tigers. Empty backfield for Johnson. Four receivers to the left. Johnson, time in the pocket. Now unloads, has a man. It's back. Gone at the 35. Middle of the field. Angles towards the far side. Across the 40. Up to the 44-yard line. Pesh's second catch of the night. Ogeron waits, takes the football, pulls it from Hutterson, and at the mesh, going to be dropped. LSU all over it. Joseph Evans there to bring down the Cowboy quarterback. Ogeron in the shotgun. On third down, delay handoff, and ball comes loose. This time they'll keep it on the ground. Huge hole, Ty Davis Price. Down the left hash, inside the 15, the 10, eventually brought down at the seven yard. Shotgun snap, Johnson rolling to his right. Throws across the middle, wide open. Keishon Boutte, touchdown, Tigers! Make it 13-0. Swing the pass. Really Boutte, far side, into Cowboy territory, and makes his way to the 45. Ball placed at the 37-yard line of McNeese State. Johnson looking downfield, flushed out of the pocket, gets set, fires, near side, caught at the 33-yard line. Atkins gets the snap. Set is down. Kick is on its way. It has the leg, and the kick is good. Cade York now with 11 career 50-plus yard field goals. That one from 55 yards out. 
Cowboys trying to put together their best drive of the night. Ogeron, play action, late pressure. He'll be slammed down back at the 41-yard line. Shotgun snap on third and long, backside pressure. Ogeron goes down again at the 47-yard line. Andre Anthony. Hutterson there to block, now he'll release. Ogeron again, under duress and dropped at the 17-yard line. Andre Anthony with his second sack of the night, third of the year. Now though, empty. Kiner out of the backfield. The throw going to come to Bash. Bash has it near side at the hash at the 40 and eventually stopped at the 35 yard line. Johnson sprints out to his right now decides to run up the middle of the field to the near side hash. Down to 2.53 remaining third quarter. Johnson floating out to his right, tosses it back of the end zone. Butte has it. Touchdown, Tigers. Ogeron again, lots of trouble. Grabbed up top, slammed down at the 15 yard line by Mason Smith. Nussmeyer again looking to the near sideline. Steps back into the shotgun. Coaches tell you he exudes confidence. Stands in the pocket. Back pedals to his left. Now on the run to his left. Slings it and catch made at the 41 yard line. Deion Smith. Now the Tigers going to try a 56 yard field goal on fourth down. And the kick is up and the kick is good. In the third quarter, Cade York set the Tiger Stadium record with a 55 yarder. He said, watch this. As as the offense, I'm really not disappointed, but I feel like we could have did more. Like it should have never been a close game at all. It really should have, we should have really put up 60, but I mean, you got to learn from your mistakes. Oh, uh, that was the first one. And then they sent the punt team on and I think Mac Coach O made the decision to punt first, and then uh, Mac decided to let him know that I was in range. And since there was a timeout, they changed the decision and put me out there. No, I think there's definitely a gap. Um, we took a step from last week, such as just winning, but we got to be better on the offense side of the ball. The defense played lights out. Uh, I mean, I feel like we could make better calls at the beginning of the game and just start faster. And, and uh, read the defensive schemes and come up with good offense plays to execute. First time? Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Uh, last year, we, we, we didn't get any of those uh, times, you know, to play in front of a full crowd. And uh, it kind of just gave us energy, and uh, we were all excited to play here. Uh, um, definitely, man. Um, man, I wish we had this energy last week. Uh, but, you know, um, it was a learning lesson last week, man. Learning lesson. We knew what we had to do. Um, life lessons. We came out, knew what we had to do, uh, did that. So now we got to keep the same energy um, going forward, no matter who we play. Uh, we got to treat all opponents the same, no matter who we play. Um, go out there, do what we need to do, um, and carry it over the next week. I mean, it's not, it's frustrating a little bit. We just got to get it going earlier. And I feel like as an offense, we just start slow in every game. And when we get in the SEC play, we got to start fast. or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I gonna wear? I think I'll go with... A cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, 
the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change, so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone, because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football, brought to you each week by Community Coffee, the official coffee of LSU Athletics. The Tigers beat McNeese 34-7 for the home opener right here in Tiger Stadium. And Coach O, it was almost a shutout, but Cody Ogeron got a last-minute touchdown in the end of the fourth quarter. But let's start with this. It's been a while since this place has really felt like Tiger Stadium in the atmosphere from the Tiger Walk to a yeah. packed student section. Just how electric did it feel for you tonight to be able to experience that? It was that great. Again? I've been telling the freshmen, all the new coaches, how great the Tiger Walk is, how great Tiger Stadium is on Saturday night, especially at 7 o'clock. And uh, it, I want to thank all our fans for being there. It gave us a tremendous amount of energy at the beginning of the game. How impressed were you with your defense tonight to hold McNeese to under 150 total yards on offense and tallying up eight sacks in the process? Um, outstanding pass rush. Uh, we didn't land any balls over our head, which was a big improvement. But we still had the explosive screen, which we got to fix. But overall, I thought our defense played great. You got to see both of your quarterbacks tonight. Starter Max Johnson going through three quarters and then Garrett Nussmeyer in that fourth quarter towards the end of the game. What did you, how did you see both of them faring? You know, I thought Max had a better game than he did the first game. Mm -hmm. He looked more comfortable. But obviously we had some protection issues that broke it down, but that's not his fault. I thought he threw some tremendous balls. We had a couple of drops, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. Garrett came in. Garrett came in with a lot of confidence, moved around, scrambled. I thought they both did well. One guy who had a huge night, kicker Cade York, again, 52. 55 plus yard field goals. He now holds the record for the three longest field goals in LSU football history. I mean, I, I'm imagining this is what an NFL kicker looks like. Yeah, no question. You got to give Coach Mack mm -hmm. the credit. Coach Mack uh, recruited Cade York. We wouldn't get him. Uh, Cade's a tremendous young man. Like I said in there, Cade's going to be kicking every Saturday morning home by himself. I don't care what day it is. In the middle of July, he's a tremendous young man. Even in a win, there's always things that you look to clean up, and you had a lot of backup offensive linemen mm -hmm. on the field tonight, and your run game didn't get going as right. much as you anticipated. Right. But how did you think everybody did when leaning on the pass game again? You know, I, I, thought, I thought that we tried to run the football better. Uh, we had more runs, like we said, with speed, sweep, tosses and stuff. But we didn't stick with it. I don't know why we didn't stick with it. Obviously, we're probably getting beat in the line of scrimmage. We had some young linemen in there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can get some older linemen in there and get better next week. Okay, lastly, we are back here in Tiger Stadium a week from today versus Central Michigan. So what was your message to your team in the locker room having a win now? Protect the team tonight, enjoy mm -hmm. the win, come back ready to work tomorrow, take the next step against Central Michigan on Monday. Thanks a lot, Coach O. Go Tiger. That's it for this week's show, but we'll be right back here in Tiger Stadium next week for LSU's matchup with Central Michigan. I'm Emily Dixon, and as always, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee. We'll see you next week.